Right now, one of the South Bay's biggest experiments is also one of the most challenging. We've got the pink water. It is back. After weeks of hard work, the scientists are at it one more time. 10 News reporter <laughs> Bree Steph, and she's joining us live. And I know, actually, Bree, you were actually riding along with the scientists to try to figure out why this time was different. Well, and they're actually going to be tracking this all the way up to Coronado. And if you take a look, you can see that there's a darker section of the water. That's that pink dye making its way up along the coast. On a gloomy day at Imperial Beach, there's something in the water that brings a pop of color. Really? The first thing I thought was, is this red tide? Close. It's pink. Scientists from both sides of the border are pumping about 30 gallons of harmless rhodamine dye into the Tijuana River estuary. It goes out from this barrel, runs through a filter, into this hose, straight into the water by that middle flag. And basically we're tracking the dye and to seeing where it goes as it comes out of, of the estuary. Falk Federson hopes it helps them figure out how pollution moves up and down the coast. Their work is definitely hard to miss. Look up with the pink waves. The team has boats and jet skis on patrol. Even though they've done this two other times over the last month, Federson has one word to describe today's dye release. Ambitious. Here, there's an inlet, there's water, tidal currents flowing in and out. There's very complex bathymetry offshore, which makes the wave field crazy. It's why it's very, very good for surfing here. Falk and his crew will be on pink patrol for a few more days, watching where the waves take the dye. Even though the final results won't be ready for a few months, the team has already learned more than they ever hoped. We have a much greater appreciation for the complexity of how the ocean transports and stirs up um, uh, the tracers because it's just it's mind boggling until you actually see it. It boggles your mind. Kind of what they're tracking, uh, way uh, things are are moving through the, through the ocean. So it's uh, it's neat to see this. And right now you're looking at one of the jet skis that's tracking the pink dye up the coast. They tell me that while the pink dye is harmless to you, the same can't be said for your clothes. It will stain. They should have those final results by March. Reporting live in Imperial Beach, Bree Stephan, 10 News. Good to know. Thank you, Bree.